In this video, I'm going to change the theme of my Google site portfolio. I've closed my portfolio, so the first thing I have to do is find and open it. It is in my drive, and I am in the recent section of my drive because that is the fastest way for me to find my portfolio. So I highly recommend you click on recent and whatever you've been working on recently shows up at the top, making it easy to find. Another way to find it is to click at the top, click search in drive and type the word portfolio. It will pop up and you can find it. Also, you can bookmark it to make it really easy to find. So three ways to find your portfolio to keep working on it. I'm going to click on my portfolio. I'm clicking twice to open. And we're going to change the theme because it started with the blank default gray header theme. To change the theme, we're going to look on the right menu. And there are three options on this menu. There's insert, pages, and themes. In other videos, we'll explore the insert and the pages options. For now, we're going to click on themes and then we can scroll down and see that there are quite a few options. It defaults to this simple theme with the blue font. If you like this theme, you could just change the color or you could try out these other themes and you can just click on them, try them, try the different colors until you find one that you would like to stick with. And this theme that you choose will apply to every page that you make on your site. So once you've decided on a theme, now let's scroll over onto the header. When I'm not rolled over the header, I don't see all the options. So I have to actually move my mouse onto this header at the top to see the options here on the left to change image or for the header type. So changing the image, if I click on it, it will let me upload my own image. So that could be a picture that I've taken or a picture that I've found. Or I can select image. And I can use one of these images from the Google Sites Gallery. If you choose one of their images, click to select the image, but then you also have to click the blue select button in the bottom left corner. Whether I use a Google Sites provided image or my own image or one that I found, I'm going to put a citation at the bottom of my page so that my instructor and anybody viewing my website knows where that image came from. The other option here besides change image is the header type and it defaults to a banner header. If you want to eliminate it completely, you can choose title only if you like it simple. I'll click header type again. You can do large banner or cover, but I don't recommend it. It takes up a lot of space. It takes up most of the page. So either choose banner or title only. That is themes. And at any time I can go back on the right and pick a different theme and it changes it on my entire site. Have fun.